Welcome back to the 757 Home Guy. Preparing to sell? Here are five questions you should ask a real estate agent before hiring one to sell your house. I'm Tommy Rosati, the 757 Home Guy. If you're interested in real estate, the 757 area code, you've come to the right place. Okay, so you need to sell your house, but how do you hire the right real estate agent? You can start by asking these five questions. Number one, how long have you been selling real estate? The answer to this question is tricky and should be taken with a grain of salt. Yes, experience in any field is helpful. However, I've seen brand new agents do a fantastic job. I've also seen veteran agents, well, let's just say that not all real estate agents are created equal. The answer to this question will mean more to some than others. Some sellers only want to work with very experienced agents, and that's understandable. But are experienced agents going to have the availability to provide the customer service experience you're expecting? Some sellers don't care about how experienced an agent is. Some would rather focus on the agent's enthusiasm, availability, and motivation. Quick tip, here in Virginia, if you wanna find out how long a real estate agent has been licensed, you can search the Department of Professional and Occupational Regulation, or DPOR's website. You can also look to see any disciplinary action that was taken against the agent. I'll leave a link to the DPOR website in the description of this video. Number two, are you part of a team? What is a real estate team, you might ask? Good question. Some agents, in an effort to close more deals, hire other agents and support staff to work for and or with them. What does this mean to you as a seller? Well, it could mean you will have multiple people working on your behalf. It could also mean that you will have multiple people to respond to and contacting you throughout the process of selling your house. For example, I've seen some real estate teams who assign different people to handle different parts of the sales process. One agent may be responsible for getting the house under contract. Another may be responsible for handling all of the inspections and yet another who might be responsible for organizing the paperwork for the closing. Some sellers like the idea of having a group of people working on their behalf, but some would prefer working with a single person. Again, this is subjective, but it should be considered as a factor when hiring any real estate agent. Number three, can you provide marketing materials from your past listings? Maybe it's because of videos I make like this and the rest of my social media presence, but I'm constantly amazed how often I don't get asked this question. Look, selling a house has a lot to do with marketing. Yes, there are a lot of contracts, building codes, and inspections, but much of the sales process revolves around how well a property is marketed. In my opinion, a good listing agent should be eager and proud to discuss their marketing plans for your house. I've heard some agents say, I don't want to give away my secret sauce before the seller hires me. That never made any sense to me. Why would anybody hire anyone to do anything without first hearing a plan as to how he or she plans to complete the job? Ask this important question to any real estate agent you're considering hiring to sell your house. Trust me, the answers you receive may significantly help you make up your mind or whether or not this agent is right for you. Number four, what is your overall marketing strategy? Again, maybe it's because of my online presence, but I rarely get asked this very important question. What will the agent do specifically to sell your house? Who takes the pictures of the property? If it's a professional photographer, can I see some of their past work? Will the property be showcased online? If so, where and for how long? 
And what are the click-through rates? Marketing is very important. A seller really can't ask too many questions about marketing. Number five, what is your open house strategy? Every agent seems to have a different opinion on open houses. You may have your own thoughts on the subject. I've had more than a few sellers who were uncomfortable with the idea of strangers perusing through their house. Does the agent wish to do open houses for you? If so, do they host them themselves or do they have other agents host them? How long do they last? Do they provide food? If so, what kind of food and could it potentially make a mess of the house? If a seller has pets, how will they be cared for during the open house process? By the way, the pet question is a big one. So much so, I've made a separate video about caring for your pets during the home selling process. I'll put a link in the description of this video just in case you missed it. Ask any agent you're considering hiring to sell your house how they feel about open houses and make sure their attitude matches your expectations. So there you have it. Five questions you should ask a real estate agent before hiring one to sell your house. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to smash that thumbs up and consider subscribing. And in the meantime, please follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook.